Hey guys, it's me, Nerf1998 here. Let me turn down my music. Alright, sorry about that. It's me, Nerf1998 here, and I'm just going to show you all of my airsoft stuff. I'm taking this video off my phone, that's why it's not as good of quality as all my stuff is, but when I used my laptop, my, la my quality was a lot worse. So what we can start down on this side with all my tactical gear and BDUs and, stu and such. Uh, my next video I make is going to be of a winter loadout. So let's go over my new BDUs. These are chocolate chip camo BDUs. This is the jacket right here. Those are the pants. And then under that I have desert cam pants. Uh, up here we have my three, my belt, my pants, and my three different shirts. I have a black, a green, a uh, OD, and then a white. The white is for winter, of course. But it's coming up very soon, and that's why I'm making winter loadout. My boots are Wolverine uh, high cut boots. Over here we have my neck wrap, uh, extra pouch for my vest, and I have my gloves, and then my winter gloves that go under my gloves. I have uh, all my abundance of ammo right there. This is my tactical police belt. Let me spread it out for you guys here. I have an ammo pouch, a silencer holder, which actually that's used for a baton. This is a glove. Well, I use it for my extra gloves or ammo or just about anything, really. But it's actually a handcuff pouch. That's my phone case, my tactical holster, and my double mag pouch. Get this out of the way. Right here we have my vest. I'm going to move all my beads out of the way real quick. Let me pull the vest down. Right here we have my vest. This is a basic cross draw vest, but I mean it serves its purpose and it's pretty good. Uh, so, I can't really do much on the resolution right now about how much you can see because I, my light bulb is about to die soon. I haven't changed it yet. I'm just waiting until it dies. So, right up here is the communications pouch where I keep my radio. Sometimes it's a little bottle of BBs. And down here is three pistol mag pouches. Uh, if you have an MEU pistol, you might be able to double stack. But I use them for two. these two right here I use for uh, my speed loaders, and this one I use for a flashlight and pencil. I can also hang my radio on the side of the pouch. This is the Velcro area where the cross draw holster goes. I've got three mag M4, AK, basically any kind of mag pouches, plus an extra one on the side. Up here I have a shotgun ammunition pouch and I have a hydration bladder in the back. Also on the back is six rows of, or three rows of molly, which I have a pouch for an extra set of gloves in, which I have an extra set of gloves in. Over up here I have my facial and head protection. I have a desert, or not a desert, but a world in camo mask. That's basically for one of marksmen, uh, overwatch. Basically, the scout who who goes up and actually into the fight. That way, you can't really see my face. That's the hat I wear to protect my neck. This is the basically an assault mask. It's a standard kind of mask. Down here to tactical stuff like accessories. I have two vertical foregrips, a bipod that's disassembled right now, a flashlight, a tool to adjust the tactical holster I have, a pencil. A notebook for writing down uh, like any operations uh, notes. I have right here. That's a. I have two 100 round speed letters right here. A suppressor, and my tactical watch I wear. Pretty shiny. And down here is where all my mags are. That's my Thompson mag, my shotgun mag, my Sig mag, and my Walther mag. My big battery, my battery charger, and my radio. This big red strip right here is my tactical sling. Right here we have my melee. This is a knife I bought from a Halloween store. This is a cold steel tactical training knife with with a custom silver paint job. I need to do a better paint job to it. This is my SIG P226 Spring Airsoft Pistol uh, made by KWC, licensed by Cybergun. Full metal slide, uh, hitting around 330 FPS. Dead accurate. I measured the 330 FPS with uh, .25 gram, by the way and it's dead accurate. And this over here is my Walther P99 
or crossbow stinger P9T, that's who made the pistol. Uh, dark earth and black, iron, upgraded iron sights. Right here we have my Mossberg M590 tactical riot shotgun. Has the uh, shark tooth tip for busting down doors. But I used to have a stock on it, but I saw the stock off. Basically to make it a master key is what that, those holes on the top are for, is for uh, master key screw parts to... Basically, I, my process of thought was I could take a connecting piece from the bipod, put a screw on top of the shotgun, and screw the little piece from the bipod on, and then I'd be able to attach it to the gun. worked well, but I kind of got in the way every now and again. And I don't have an M4, so I can't really do it. This is my Thompson M1A1 submachine gun, made by Taco Sports Weston by Cybergun. Uh, hitting around 388 FPS, I want to say. Batteries in. This is an almost dead battery too. So uh, that's the pouch that I keep the uh, battery in for when I need to, and it connects into the stock. Basically, your standard iron sights. Uh, basically, sports line. It's basically a beginner's AEG because I have not had the money to buy my. M4 I wanted lately. I'm probably going to ask for it for Christmas. So basically, that's all of my gear. Uh, my I have my summer or assault loadout that I recently just posted on my YouTube. Uh, I will post a winter loadout here shortly. I do have to put it together real quick. I I haven't been airsofting during the winter, so haven't really had the chance to. So. It's been me, Nerf 1998 here on my new phone, LG Extrovert, great phone, I love it a lot. Uh, I'll be able to do video, uh, game vids for you guys now while I have this phone. I can do basically videos of anywhere I go, uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel, join my team. Uh, I haven't really got the name yet, but I do have a team. Thanks, and goodbye.